Hi, my name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and you're watching Ask Dr. T. Hi, I'm Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and you're watching Ask Dr. T. Hi, I'm Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and you're watching Ask Dr. T. Hi, my name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and you're watching Ask Dr. T. Today we're recording from the middle of nowhere, somewhere in North Dakota, and we're going to talk about malabsorption. Now, most of you are probably thinking, well, I'm not having that problem. I'm gaining weight. I, that's the last thing I have. But you'd be surprised because most people that have trouble losing weight are actually having a problem absorbing their nutrients. And let me explain. Uh, malabsorption is when you're not absorbing your nutrients, you're not absorbing protein, minerals, vitamins, but you're absorbing carbs all day long. Okay, So your metabolism drops and you gain weight. Okay. Uh, the other thing it does is it makes your body think that you're hibernating or makes your body think you're starving so it drops your metabolism down and you gain more weight. So what causes malabsorption in people? Well, if you think of your digestive system as a assembly line, your stomach makes hydrochloric acid which absorbs protein, minerals, and your B vitamins which every cell in your body needs to produce energy. So if you're not making enough acid, you gain weight, believe it or not. Uh, the next part of the assembly line is your pancreas, which puts out digestive enzymes. And then there's your gallbladder, which puts out bile. And these things help with the digestion and absorption of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. And then down at the end of the assembly line, you have your probiotics or all the bacteria that's in your gut that are breaking things down even more. So that's how everything's supposed to work. Things that will muck that up. First of all, any of the medications that are out there for GERD or heartburn like Nexium, uh, Omeprazole, Prilosec, they stop you from making acid. Okay, and even if you watch the commercials on TV, at the end of the commercial it says uh, may cause osteoporosis or low magnesium levels. That's because you're not absorbing your minerals. You need acid to absorb minerals. You need acid to absorb protein. You need acid to absorb your B vitamins. So you can have low B vitamins, low magnesium, calcium, uh, poor protein intake, and if you're not absorbing those things, your body says, oh, he's hibernating or she's hibernating or he or she's starving, we need to shut down metabolism here to save the person. So your metabolism drops, your body temperature drops, and you can't lose weight to save your life. Plus, you got brain fog, you're fatigued, any number of symptoms that you could have. Some other causes of this too are um, bariatric surgery, unfortunately. Uh, stress is a big problem because if you're having a lot of stress in your life over you know 5, 10, 15 years you start uh, it, it starts affecting your stomach and you stop making as much acid um, diet is another problem because if you're eating all cooked foods your stomach and pancreas have to work double time for decades to break that food down because when you cook food it breaks down the natural enzymes that are in those foods that help you digest them naturally. All right, so hopefully you're following me. Now, here's another thing. Uh, a lot of you out there may have a thyroid prob problem and you may be on one of the uh, uh, standard thyroid medications like Synthroid or Levothyroxin. Well, what happens is when you're on uh, those medications, and you're having a problem with malabsorption, your body, when it thinks that you're um, hibernating or starving, it takes that medication and it doesn't convert it into the right type of thyroid, but instead it takes it and it makes the hormone of hibernation, which is called reverse T3. Most physicians, they don't test for this hormone, and it's extremely important to test for this uh, hormone, reverse T3. Because the way it works is it's like musical chairs. Your body thinks you're hibernating or starving. It makes you make more of this anti-hormone, if you will, and it blocks your, your natural uh, hormone that you're trying to make. Uh, again, it's like musical chairs, and so what happens is the reverse D3 wins out, your metabolism drops, you don't feel like the Synthroid or the Levothyroxine or you know the other generic that you're taking is working, 
um, because it's not. It's actually making you worse. And the only way to fix that is to actually improve your digestion. So how do you do that? How do you improve your digestion? Well, there are different supplements that you can take. You can take digestive enzymes that have protease, lipase, amylase, uh, chymotrypsin, ox bile in them, and or you can also take uh, stomach acid, which is called betaine HCL. Um, you actually need to drop some acid to improve your um, absorption. Probiotics are also good, and most people seem to be on probiotics, but these other two supplements are more important than the probiotics in this case. So any questions out there? Anybody have any questions? Oh, so if you do have a question, you can email me at askdrt at gmail.com. Also stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot of these videos and you can uh, access these either on YouTube, go to our website at askfordrt.com, that's ask4drt.com. Uh, we're on Twitter and uh, Facebook. And for those of you who are history buffs or uh, like historical fictions, we've got a great uh, novel out. It's called A Perfect Armenian. And uh, you can go either to um, uh, Kindle or Amazon or our website is aperfectarmenian.com. My name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and you've been watching Ask, Ask Dr. T. Take it easy.